Hey everyone, my name is Odd, and today I will do a quick review of the new operation Broken Fang. 2020 has been an unpredictable year. The CSGO Major Tournament, ESL1 Rio, has been postponed and eventually got cancelled. We had Operation Shattered Web after a year long break from the previous one, and it seems as if to make things up, Valve decided to come up with a second operation in the same year. This seems like a good way to maintain their player base in the lack of physical events. However, this operation has slightly been modified for the better. The rewards are no longer fixated based on your star progress, you can spend all of your points on one particular reward as you wish, and buying the case through the star system automatically unlocks it. The format itself seems to be quite similar to the previous one, they offer a bunch of new stickers and most likely one-time collections. Oh, and of course, they had to keep making the Mature Woman agent the most expensive again. Usually these kinds of operations come along with pretty amazing updates, and for those who really enjoy playing CSGO competitively, there is some good news for you. Valve also rolled out an incredibly detailed system to track your gameplay, from weapon performance to enemy shots hitmap, which this can give you a huge insight on how you play the game without being offended by your Russian teammates. Retakes have become an official game mode to improve your situational plays, which might mean that all of those community servers of retakes should die now, and there are new convenient ways to communicate in-game without using your mic. Because who didn't feel like not talking at all for the entire game because their team is way too toxic? As always, the operation is 5 months long, up until April 30, and for the next 16 weeks there are gonna be a new set of missions unlocked for you to do on a weekly basis. Recalculations suggest that you will be given one extra month to complete your missions, and as history suggests, the price of the Broken Fang Pass should be reduced at some point. It always do. Yet, doing the missions and eventually buying the pass a few months later will still grant you all the rewards you worked hard for. I might do another video covering the skins and perhaps the different speculations we can try to take advantage of, although it seems quite obvious at this point what's going to be the next god and what's going to be the next piece of shit. Be sure to leave a comment down below to tell me what do you think, wish you all a wonderful weekend as always, talk to you soon.